Hi guys and welcome back to another Ops Collective tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be covering Trello and for this video I'm going to show you how you can send emails straight from your inbox into Trello. Uh, this feature is absolutely amazing because now you can actually track leads that may start in your inbox in Trello or um, customer inquiries or requests that you receive in your inbox you can now easily send them over to your Trello board. So in this example, we are on the board called customer job requests. So this board is used anytime someone sends an email to um, our team, uh, that email will be automatically forwarded to this box here, so this Trello board, where we'll be able to triage and work on that request. So first things first, in order to even send anything to this board, we first need to grab the email address. So to obtain the email address for this board customer job requests, You'll want to go over to the far right where it says show menu. Click on that and then click on the email to board settings option. So once you click on that, you'll notice that in the your email address for this board box, um, you'll notice there's a very long email address in there. So that's the email address you want to use going forward to send things to this board. But before you send things to this board, you first want to tell Trello where you want that email to go. So if you look in the section that says your email cards appear in, this is where you'll want to tell Trello which list you want that email to go to. And in this case, we have three lists on this board and also what position you want it to be placed in. So in this example, we want all of our emails that come in to go to the job request received list. And when received, we want it to go to the bottom of the list. Okay, so all you have to do is select list and then just make sure that the list that you want it to go to is selected. So in this case, we'll keep it at job request received. And for the position, we'll keep it at bottom. Um, in your case, if you want to have it at the top, that's fine as well. You can select that there. Okay, so we'll just keep it at bottom there. And before we go over to the inbox composition window, I wanted to bring another thing to your attention. So you'll notice here it says generate a new email address. So the point of that is, say for some reason this email address um, gets exposed or sent out to many people or someone leaves your team and you don't want them to have the ability to send things to this board no longer, all you have to do is select generate new email address and that will now change the email address that's in this section here. So any future um, emails that are sent to this, that are attempted to be sent to this Trello board will not even like make it through that thresh that gateway. It will stop. They'll get a error email. So that's a really another cool feature. So if people leave your team and things like that, definitely use this feature to change your email address, your Trello board email address. So without further ado, let's copy this email address. And I'll just go over into my sample inbox. Awesome. So now that we're in the inbox, um, here we have received an email from a customer saying that their website plugin isn't working. So we want to be able to send this email to the Trello board in order to assign it to other team members, make comments on it, triage it, and ensure that it actually gets worked on and actioned on, right? So we'll just click into that email. And with this email, we want to forward it to the Trello board. So you'll just want to hit forward. And then in the to field, just paste that long email address that we copied from the Trello board into the to field. And if you wish, I'm just going to go into here, hit edit subject. If you wish, you can always edit the subject field because whatever is in the subject field will be the title of the card on the Trello board. So you can either move the forward field, uh, put someone's name. You can do any type of edit you would like there. And then once you've uh, edited the email how you would like, just hit send. So once you've sent this email over, it'll take about maybe 30 seconds for it to land into your Trello board. So we'll just go over to the Trello board and it should land in the job request received list. And there you go. So it just popped up there. So that same email we just sent over from Gmail has now landed in our Trello inbox. So if we click into that card, you'll notice that it contains the information that was in that email. 
Another cool thing is that when you forward emails from your email account to Trello, if there's any attachments, those attachments will also get carried over into Trello. So it's definitely an amazing feature you want to try out. Um, you can even take this a bit further by setting up filters on your, um, your inbox account to automatically send emails from particular people or that contain certain headers to send automatically to your Trello board so you don't have to manually do it. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment box below, um, send us an email, and yeah, thank you for tuning in. Bye.